Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, so look at this. We have Minty Sell here in Art Basel. So welcome to the Nifty Chicks and welcome to NFT Tuesdays with a Twist coming to you live from Art Basel with wine, NFT news, uh, interesting NFT projects and answering your burning questions about NFTs. So let's do this. Minty Sell, tell us, how is Art Basel? Um, it's really amazing so far. Uh, I do just want to since we are live, obviously, um, for those of you that couldn't be here joining us live, we just want to uh, welcome all of our replay listeners as well. Um, so much is happening here. We were chatting, you know, before I pushed that go live button. Um, I actually, it would have been really cool if we could have made this happen. But um, for those of you that are listening to this, uh, you can't see what I'm showing on the screen here, but I just ran into someone that if you are in the crypto space, you know who this is. That is Bitboy Crypto, also known as Ben Armstrong. Um, was just telling Jenna, like I've known him for years from being in crypto and he just flew back from the Bahamas. He was trying to track down Sam Brinkman Freed, no way. who we've he been was talking not. about. Oh, yeah. No, he was nah. in the Bahamas. He may be going back. He he was like, I don't know. He's trying to work out um, a deal with, oh, my gosh, I forgot the name of the bank, but there's a bank that's associated with it. And Del, Del Phi Bank, or I don't, I can't think of the name of it. Um, but... Yeah, so he was he was just there. He flew back for the conference. I saw him speak. I missed his panel because I was at this really cool ladies brunch um, this after this I guess late morning afternoon, and so I missed his panel. But I did get to see. He did a talk with Clinton Donnelly, who is the crypto tax guy, and um, so we we're talking about crypto taxes, which is super important. And Jen FT, you've done some some episodes on on that that's right subject that's topic right so awesome. it's, it's very exciting here in miami i mean there's so much going on all over the city crypto nft related which is it's just awesome so what you're telling me is that and you're telling our listeners is that the nft space is not dead um if it's dead, then I don't know what all these people are doing here. I <laughs> mean, weird. there's there's so many there. I don't know. I don't know how many people are at this conference. It's really hard. I feel like it's hard to know at any conference, but it's especially hard at these types of events because there are they're spread out all over. So I'm at right now. I'm currently sitting at the Hyatt in. Um, that's like connected to the James L. Knight Convention Center, which is where Decentral is located or being held. It's it's done um, today is the last day. It started yesterday, so it's a two day. Uh, there is Miami Web Three that's down the street, about a ten minute walk from here, and I believe that's a three day conference. So it started yesterday and it goes it ends tomorrow night, and then. I, I was just sitting with Arthur from the Non-Fungible Conference that I spoke at this year in Lisbon, and I don't know if I can say it yet because they said they're announcing it tomorrow, but they have dates for the next one. Um, I, I already know that I'm invited to speak at the event. I don't know, Jen FT, if you can make it happen or not, but... Um, I'm sure that if, if you can make it happen, that you can come with me to Portugal. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Arthur would be happy to have us both speak. Um, so I do know that that's going to happen now in June. I'm not going to give the dates. I just know it's in June. Um, I'll, let, I'll let them break the actual news first. And then we, I believe they're going to they're gonna share it tomorrow. So um, that's exciting. Yeah. That is so exciting that you've got yeah. so much going on at Bar Art Basel. There's so much um, you've just shared that like the energy is is hopping. So many events. That's so that's exciting. not even like that's not even breaking the iceberg on the amount of events. So I was 
just talking to past guest Adrian Ashley, who we've been hanging out here, uh, and she was going. So NFT now is doing a big event. Um, it's called the Gateway, and I guess it's like a half a mile from here. So when we're done, I am probably going to be heading over there to meet up with her and check out that event. And then tomorrow morning, I am heading to the uh, Women in Web 3 event. I'll be speaking there on a panel. Well, actually, it's not a panel. I'm not sure what you call it. It's we have a, a moderator person, and then there's just fireside two of us. chat, right? Yeah, it's a fire fireside chat, fireside chat. Yes. So um, I'll be doing that, and then from there I'll be heading to South Beach. I'm going to a networking event with that is hosted by I believe Token Proof is behind the whole event, but it's uh, my BFF, and I think Wow is a part of it. And, maybe a couple others. So it's a, it's an all women networking event. So I'm excited about that. Man. And then Thursday night is the big wow gala event. I can't wait to hear about that. So excited about that. And then, um, and then I leave on Friday and I come back to Puerto Rico, but you know, what happens in Puerto Rico is next week is Puerto Rico blockchain week. And I will be speaking at coin agenda. So, I mean, Baby. it's just nonstop in the I world it. of NFTs and crypto. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. And I'm so yeah. glad you were able to make it work so that you can be broadcasting live there. Uh, I know. It's so freaking cool. I, and I love, I love this. Like, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's just a little different than our normal live show because I'm actually live at an event, you, like you said, Jenna, too, like you can feel the energy just in being in this space. I don't know if you guys can hear it, you know, on the, the recording, if you can hear all the activity that's going on around me, but I mean, it's just constant. We, we can hear it, can confirm, okay. we can hear it. Perfect. <clears throat> so fun. Oh, well, so, that is so exciting. I think we should, um, you know, dive a little bit into the news if that sounds like a good next step. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, well, I was going to go do a thing real quick, um, as in I am going to share out the fact that we are live. I can't get my computer to cooperate, but it apparently doesn't want to. So instead, I'm going to share. I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to talk about, do you want to talk about MetaMask first? Yeah, so we've okay. got a couple of good, good topics here. Starting with MetaMask. Uh, gosh, I don't know how I feel about this, Aaron Minty. So we talk about this all the time of like having to protect our, you know, identity and making it our choice. And so MetaMask is going to be starting to collect user IP addresses, so they're going to know, you know, where you are, what you're doing, what you're up to. That to me is a, a little bit of a scary reality here. It's really scary. Uh, and you know, that is one of the things uh, that we, you know, of course I'm at a crypto conference, that's everybody's talking about that. In fact, I should have brought it with me. I just got a hat from a company and the hat says privacy. And you know, there's- I love that the conversations that we're having here is i mean yes definitely we need to protect our privacy and so the the one of the sessions i was at today was with clinton donnelly and bitboy and they were talking about you know like the cbdc's that are potentially coming our way and taxes and basically what clinton was saying was you know, right now we're kind of on a little bit of the honor system with the IRS and what you're reporting to them. And, you know, obviously there there are ways for them to track it, especially if you're, you know, like 
W-9 or your contractor, or, you know, if you're making a certain amount of money. But there, there are other things that, you know, if you sold something to somebody at a garage sale for cash, yeah, you're probably not going to need to report that, you know, if it's just a few hundred dollars or whatever. But in the future, if we see these CBDCs come to fruition, then the government is going to be able to see every single thing that you do, you know, how much you spent on rent, what your car payment is, how much you're paying for gas, what what you're buying at the grocery store. And the the killer thing here that I was I was like, whoa. So I feel like it's like a double-edged sword here because what they were saying was, so they're going to have all of this at their fingertips, which is going to make your life easier because you're not going to have to go pull everything together and like do your taxes because they're going to know everything. But then you think about the other side of it. It's like, okay, but they're making my life easier. So people are going to be like... I would say like the average citizen is going to be excited about this because it's making their life easier. And that's what we all want. But at what cost, you know, then we're losing, we're losing our privacy. We're losing our ability to, I don't, I I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's freedoms that we're losing in exchange for making our life easier. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, this is a kind of a reoccurring conversation that we're having. And I think the world is full of trade-offs. And when one thing good happens, the odds are it's there's a trade-off involved. And um, so, you know, this is going to be a, an interesting, I think the early adopters of the space have come to this space because the um, whole space has been very, uh, I would say, you have the autonomy to determine how private you are in this space, unlike kind of the web to real world space. Um, You know, you have to give your social security number to open up an account or to, you know, whatever. So there's not a lot of privacy measures in the real world. And so I think for the early adopters, this is what attracted them most to this space. So when you take that away, I think you're gonna get the mass adoption but I think you're going to lose the spark that makes this kind of whole space what it is now. So it's going to be interesting to see how this evolves. I think there's definitely a need for, you know, uh, these kind of next step measures, this kind of Web 3 2.0. Um, and a lot of our news articles are around the reasons why the same the, the Sam Bankman Freed is an example of things that need to change in this space. So there's a desperate need for this this uh, Web three 2.0. I just it's going to be a it's going to be a, a fine balance here. But agreed, agreed. Um, and I, you know, I mean, you know where I stand on this. It's, um, I don't know, I think it's a slippery slope and I really hope that we find a way to make it okay. You know? Yeah. Shall we move on to Gary V? So Gary yes. V's back NFT startup Candy Digital cuts staff in mass layoffs. So I think like, there's no surprise here. Uh, Candy Digital, a sports and entertainment NFT startup that was founded in 2021 and rocketed to a $1.5 billion valuation that same year, it laid off a large part of its staff today. Um, a source close to the situation confirmed to decrypt. So this is a company that was started by um, and founded by Gary V, as well as uh, CEO Mike Novogratz, is that how you pronounce it? Novogratz, 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 an entrepreneur. Um, so, I mean, this is, I think, not a surprise. I imagine they're hurting the whole crypto, all the businesses associated with crypto, I think are hurting, not all of them. There's some definitely who have 
structured things in a way yeah. to succeed in this. this I mean, if you winter. look around here, you wouldn't you wouldn't think that, but yeah, yeah. I know. I saw actually one of the reasons why I brought this up is I saw D Candy Digital is a sponsor on a couple of the events that are happening at Art Basel, I believe. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So I. I saw I saw the logo flash up on something related to Art That's Basel. Funny. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I feel bad okay. for all those all those employees, but they had to have known yeah. it was coming. I think. Yeah. So it's a little so a little next tech one. challenging here. Yeah, no worries, no worries. This next one, iconic NFT collector G Money reveals his identity. So, I Ooh, love I this. Haven't, so, I hadn't even heard about this. This is yes, me. So, G Money is. Um, <clears throat> he was actually in. Oh gosh, what was the thing I went to? Uh, Metaverso in here in oh, Puerto yeah, Rico. Yeah. Yep. And um, so he is. He has a a large Twitter following. He's one of kind of the OGs in the space. Um, he's known as G Money, um, and anybody that knows him knows he's got a crypto punk um as his kind of identity and he's been behind that crypto punk forever but keep scrolling and you will see what he looks like in real life oh, yeah there he is yeah and one of the things i love about this is his quote that says the space needs strong and visible leaders now more than ever with the first uh, nine DCC pop up starting tonight. We are bridging the digital and physical worlds together. Now is a time for the next chapters to start. And I think like what oh, really hit I wonder. Me, I wonder if he's going to be so. I, I just have to say this. Sorry, Jonathan, to interrupt. Yeah. Um, but I'm obviously seeing on the screen here the gateway during Art Basel, gateway 2022 on, over here on the right. Unveils initial activation. Um, that's actually where I'm headed next. Oh, no way. Maybe he'll see yeah. him. Yeah. So I would, I mean, he's going to be there, right? Yeah. I yeah. believe so. I believe that's what, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he, you know, it's, it's so interesting to see someone like this who has been anonymous to step out and um, not fully dox himself because he's not sharing what his real name is, but he's now, it's a, it's a, it's a level of doxing. Um, sure. Now we know what he looks like in real life, and and I think he's right. The space needs strong and visible leaders. Man, if now is not a time, I don't know when is because with the whole thing of the whole crypto, I think world right now is a little on edge, a little like untrusting right now, and yeah, for think? people to show their faces, I think is really meaningful. Agreed. Uh, so I did have one other article. That I found today that I was like, Ooh. for once we have good news. Hold on, I'm trying to find it here. Uh, NFT sales jumped 22% higher this month with 568 million in NFT sold across. 20 blockchains. So oh, I love that. I love hearing that, seeing that. I don't know. Maybe it's because of, you know, Art Basel and all these NFT events that are happening, you know, this week. I mean, probably couldn't hurt, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Love to see the energy kind of coming back to life after mm -hmm. some quiet downtime i would say and yeah i mean what better season the holiday season you know what what do you want to buy a friend maybe an nft i don't right. know yeah i i mean i like the idea it could be um a great way to you know onboard more people into the space is gifting nfts in fact that's actually what i got my sister for Christmas. I don't know if you know this Gen FT or not, but I ended up ordering, um, oh my gosh, um, 
I'm completely blanking. Um, what is your favorite project? Uh, Boss Beauties? No, not Boss Beauties. Women um, Rise? The, no, not Women Rise. The, World of Women? Oh, my gosh. The, the one, we've had her on the show, and um, she's the one who walks everybody through. We talked about her at an oh, NCNYC. Oh, Everyday Hero. Everyday Shiro. God, thank you. Yeah. I was like, so my sister is a nurse, and so I got her a nurse that looks like her. She's got little glasses like my sister wears, and she's got like her nurse's uniform on, and her heart says Texas because she currently resides in Texas. And that's amazing. Yeah, that's so such that's a great my. Gift. Yeah, so that's her going to be her Christmas present. Um, I. I'm probably going to have to walk her through how to get it to her. So that will be yep. a challenge. But I, yeah. I gifted a Mickey Mouse NFT through Vive uh, to my father last Christmas. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. He's a big fan of Disney. And I was like, yeah. what, what better way to kind of bridge the generation that. above me into Disney? Who doesn't love Disney? Right. So do we want to move on and talk about um, upcoming drops? Yeah. So one of the things I realized and I learned, maybe this is not news to you or to other listeners, but uh, did you know that OpenSea has a new drops page? So I think, yeah, I think this is new. I have not seen this before. And so I was like, fun. I'm totally I like that. this little thing. I know, right? Go. Oh, it's sold out. Bummer. But you can still click on, on for projects that are sold out, you can click on view drop and it'll take you to the page and you though. can see them on the secondary market. I love it. Okay, so here we go. Let's, we'll just look at this because I think it's so cool. Go to view collection oh, right there. Yeah. And it'll take you to the secondary market page. I love that they have incorporated this drops. I don't know. Yeah. What I don't know is is how someone gets on it. Like, does someone right. who has a lot of money pay? I, I'm sure you have to apply or something. Yeah. Nothing's free in this world, Gen FT. So true. So true. Um, so I'd be curious. I would love transparency on on how drops because there are tons of drops every day. Yeah. And like, how do how do they end up on the open sea site that's what i'd be curious to well learn. that's a maybe we should do a little research into that to figure out how you make that happen for sure yeah that, i mean that's huge for new projects yeah but, i mean gosh you know, yeah get, i feel like that's get on a, that list and get, yeah you know the, that this is why, why does it say pass though where are the like I think that's all they have. I don't think they have a current or yeah, dropping. I mean, you know that there's like drops, I feel like, all the time. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that are postponing because, you know, there's you know, so much going on in the market. Who knows what's what at this point? Yeah. But that's cool. I like it. Yeah, very cool. So I felt like I should share that um, for anybody that hasn't seen that. Check out the drops page on on OpenSea and see yeah. if anything is of interest. I saw one of Anthony Hopkins, which looked pretty cool. I love Anthony Hopkins. I think he's an amazing actor. Um, but yeah, check out that page to see if there's any that like look interesting that have recently dropped and you might be interested in. I like it. I like it. Um, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for this show just because I have I have all kinds of things to go see and do. And apparently, I have to go see if I can find G-Money now. Yes. Now you right. have what you know what he looks like. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to save that picture on my phone. I'll be like, is that? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not at all stalking, is that? No. 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 So, um, yeah. Um, obviously... We want to make sure that you keep up with us. I have been, I have, I feel like I've been failing at the Twitters, but I have been posting on our 
Insta stories. Hi, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> see you back there. Um, I have been posting on the Insta stories a little bit here and there, trying to keep up with what is going on. I will, um, you know, I will try to do a better job. It's it's been tough because like my phone keeps dying. It's just you know, I had to go back in the hotel room and charge up a bit. And, you know, the conference life. That's right. Fun. That's right. That's <laughs> it right. It is fun. I actually really do love it. So uh, definitely, you know, make sure that you are following us on um, all the socials. You can find us at the New Chick. That is the N I F T Y Chicks. C H I C K S. That's right. And enjoy the rest of your time at Art Basel. We cannot wait to hear more about it. Um, we will see you all next week. In the meantime, um, as always, thank you for listening. Always remember, invest in yourself because you are worth it.